Welcome back friends, it's almost March and I have a story for you today about St. Patrick and the three blind mice. So this is like a fractured fairy tale because the three blind mice didn't meet St. Patrick in the original um, nursery rhyme, but in this little fairy tale written by Joyce Stengel and illustrated by Herb uh, Leonard, um, we'll find out why the three blind mice were needed to help St. Patrick way over in Ireland so long ago. The author uh, dedicated this to Alice and Peter with love. So St. Patrick and the Three Blind Mice starts out many years ago. St. Patrick traveled the roads and byways of Ireland, driving out the snakes with a bell. But one crafty, clever snake escaped. This snake slithered through the meadow and the forest day and night hunting for tasty mouse meals. Now one night, three little mice, Ryan, Brian, and Tula, cuddled in their nest. Ryan and Brian soon fell asleep, but Tula was restless, and when the moon rose high, she scrambled from the nest. Light as a whisper, she skittered up her favorite hill. She snuggled onto a leaf, and she gazed up at the stars and the moon, listening to the night's sounds. She heard a loud snore. She looked down the hill and there, under a tree, a man slept. A bell glowed at his side. Tula's whiskers twitched. Could it be St. Patrick and his miraculous bell? The snake slithered from the forest. Tula Hill hid behind a mushroom and peeked out. You see her shadow way at the top? The pages are a little glossy, so it's hard to see the illustrations. A snake seized a mouthful of grass and he inched his way to the bell and he poked the grass around the clapper time and again. He stuffed grass into the bell. Why do you think he would be doing that? When he had finished, that crafty, clever snake slid his tail through the bell's handle and stole it away. Tula had to save the bell. She scurried after Snake, following him to his lair. And Snake coiled around the bell and sleepily closed his eyes. His forked tongue darted in and out. Was he dreaming of a mouse meal? Tula darted back to the nest. Wake up, she cried. Snake stole St. Patrick's bell. Oh, you had a nightmare, Ryan said. Tis your imagination, Brian said. You're daft, they said together. That means kind of crazy. No, 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 get up, Tula insisted. I have a plan. So grumbling, Ryan and Brian followed Tula to the hill. They looked down there, and there was St. Patrick snoring under the tree, but no bell. Tula led them to the snake's lair and whispered her plan. The three mice scattered and gathered strong grasses and they braided a rope. Now, one of us must tie this rope to the bell's handle, Tula told them. You are the smallest, Ryan said, and the lightest, Brian said, and the quickest, they said together. So trembling, Tula grabbed the rope with her teeth and dragged it around toward the bell. Just as she was about to loop the end of the rope through the bell's handle, Snake's tongue darted out. Tula didn't move. Not one whisker. Snake settled back to sleep and Tula tied the rope. The three mice tugged the bell back to St. Patrick and blade by blade they removed the grass. Tula was about to snatch the very last blade when Brian squeaked, Snake is coming. So quick as a wink, Tula clutched the bell's clapper. Stand the bell up, she cried. So Snake slithered closer. Ryan and Brian pushed the bell upright. Snake hissed and reared his head, and Tula swung on the clapper. Bong! St. Patrick sprang to his feet. Tula scampered out as, she sn as he snatched up the bell, and then Patrick rang his bell. Bong! 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 and drove that crafty, clever snake to the sea. Hip, hip, hooray, Ryan, Brian, and Tula cheered as the snake slithered into the water and disappeared from Ireland forever. And that is the last 
of the three brave mice who helped St. Patrick drive the last snake from Ireland. And we have an author's note that you can read if you check this out um, at the library. And when I first read this story, I thought it was St. Patrick and the three blind mice, but they weren't blind at all. They saw lots of things going on with the snake. It was St. Patrick and the three brave mice. So there's a spin on an old fairy tale I hope you enjoyed. Stay well.